is my daughter, Kanlin Yen. This is her Girl Scout project. And what she's going to do is to take you through the origin of Lantern Festival. We have probably three different type of origins about it, but she's going to introduce you to the one that's most interesting. And then she's going to talk to you on the second segment about, any guess? Well, any Chinese gallery, we have food, except today. So she's going to talk about the food related to the Lantern Festival. And then last, she's going to teach all of you to do a lantern like this. Okay? So at, at the last portion of it, we will do that. And when she does the presentation, she is going to show you a short video. The video is completely in Chinese, so you want to pay attention to that. Hopefully you could understand. <laughs> After the video playing, Connie will go through a complete English description for you. So just keep in mind there's going to be a total of three videos, each one video on each segment. So let me introduce you to my daughter Connie Yen. She is currently a junior in high school. She is in Beta Club and Girl Scout, as I mentioned earlier. This is the project that she's doing to, to complete her highest level of the Girl Scout achievement. Um, and she rides horses. She loves horses and wants to be a vet someday. So without further ado, welcome, Hanin. Okay, so as the mother explained, um, what we're here today is teaching about the Lantern Festival. And to go over first, this is just the agenda, like she said. Uh, all the videos are in Chinese, so try to pay attention. There's pictures, it's okay. Um, and then I'll get a full detail of English afterwards. And then we'll have uh, the making of the lanterns. <coughs> so here's just some information. The first month of the Chinese calendar is called Yin month. And in the ancient times, people call the night Xiao. Um, Therefore, the day is called Yuan Xiao Festival in China and Taiwan. The 15th day is the first night to see the full moon in a lunar year. According to the Chinese tradition, at the very beginning of a new year, when there is a bright full moon hanging in the sky, there should be thousands of colorful lanterns hung, hung around for people to appreciate. At this time, people will try to solve puzzles on the lantern, eat, eat tangyuan, which is a uh, rice ball, or I would say glutinous rice ball, and enjoy family reunion. <coughs> Next is a video about the history or origin of where the lantern festival comes. So, from this video, who can tell me, well, I guess, what happened? <laughs> I didn't know, I didn't first. Okay. Um, that this girl was sitting there and she, she couldn't go home. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Uh, well, then something happened and then some fire god, fire goddess came and said, hey, I have to burn your house and everything down. Close. Anybody else who has a guess what happened? Yen Xiao, a maid in the emperor's palace. 
and that she never had a chance to see her family since she started working there. In the old days, that was the rule. When you work in the palace, you're not allowed to have family visit, or you're not allowed to visit your family, so it's basically working for a lifetime. Mr. Easter promised to find a way to reunite her with her family. Mr. Easter, Mr. Eastern left the palace and set up a fortune-telling stall in the street. Due to his reputation, many people asked for their fortunes to be told, but everyone got the same prediction, that a huge fire will occur on the 15th day of the lunar calendar. And this rumor spread quickly because no one wanted the city to burn down. Everyone was worried about the future and asked Mr. Eastern to help. Mr. Eastern said that on the 13th lunar, lunar day, the god of fire would send a fairy in red riding on a black horse to burn down the city. When people saw the fairy, they should ask for her mercy. On that 13th day, Yin Xiao pretended to be the red fairy. When people asked for her help, she, that, she said that she had a copy of the decree from the god of fire that she, um, they should burn down the city and the emperor. After she left, people went into the palace to show the emperor the decree which stated that the capital city would be burned down on the 15th day. The emperor asked Mr. Eastern for advice. Mr. Eastern said that the god of fire liked to eat tang yin, which is the glutinous spice ball that I said before. So Yuan Xiao should cook the tang yin on the 15th lunar day, and the emperor should order every house to prepare tang yin to worship the god of fire at the same time. So every house in the city also should hang red lanterns and explode firecrackers. Lastly, everyone in the palace and people outside the city should carry their lanterns onto the street to watch the lantern decorations and fireworks. The lanterns on the street um, to watch the lantern and decorations. Oh, the emperor would be deceived and everyone would avoid the disastrous, disastrous fire. The emperor happily followed the plan. Lanterns would, were hung everywhere in the capital city on the night of the 15th lunar day. People were walking out on the street. Fire kept, crackers kept making lots of noise. It looked like the entire city was on fire from far away from the lanterns and the firecrackers. So the prophecy was made. It looked like the entire city was on fire. Yuan Xiao's parents went to the palace to watch the lantern decorations and were reunited with their daughter. The emperor decreed that people should do the same thing every year. Since Yuan Xiao cooked the best tang yin, people called the day the Yuan Xiao Festival. So, pop quiz. <laughs> um, Honey, one suggestion. If, if you guys look up here, these are the two up in the ceiling. They have two um, traditional lanterns right here. They are red. Okay, go ahead with your pop quiz. Later. Oh, that's later. Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, continue on to the pop quiz. Okay, who who wanted um, who uh, wanted Yuan Xiao to stop crying? The emperor's assistant. Yeah, good job. <laughs>